Okay, should be live. Oh, we actually have a timer. Yeah, one sec. Mm, I just reload the page. Looks like we've got a timer now. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to have to amend the volume on the fly, I think, when the yeah, direct starts. I don't know how loud it's going to be. Um, so I'm going to lower, like, the volume prematurely just to make sure. I'll put it down to where my other volume controls normally are for streaming. Oh, that reminds me, I haven't connected my headphones yet. Here we go. Okay. Keep the sound mixer just in case. So I don't know what to expect too much for this direct. So we know that there's going to be Pikmin 4 information. And I think there's that new Metroid game as well, which they might release some details on. Um there's also uh the new pokemon dlc but that feels like it's a little bit too soon for for it to actually have much details basically cause it doesn't feel long since the pokemon games came out and they're still really buggy so i don't think that's gonna happen during the stream um trying to think. I mean, I always wish for Digimon info, but at the same time, Digimon info never comes out on, like, any Nintendo platform, since it's normally a multi-platform game. Um, if there was a hope, I'd hope for more, like, a Kid Icarus Uprising, like, new game of some sort, for the Switch. Just because I really enjoy that game, and like I'm pretty sure they should be able to translate like the motion control, having a motion control type thing with it, or button controls for it. But I think they're my hopes at this point in time. Right, my phone is off again. Oh, did I plug into the wrong thing? So I'm not sure keeping an eye on chat on my phone. It's run out of power. I'm trying to think of other games I might be interested in. Like, I mean, a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon would be good, like, because, you know, they did that remake for Red and Blue, Rescue Team, having, like, a remake for Time and Darkness slash Sky would be nice, especially since I think that's where they solidified the formula for the game and stuff. Mm. Think of other games I've played. Splatoon DLC. We haven't heard much since it was announced. Of course, we've got this. We've already had the first wave for quite a while. Of course, we've got the second wave coming, but even then, that feels like too soon as well. Oh, man. I don't know. Because I also don't want to get my hopes up on some of those. 
Um, I need to get my phone up because I can't test my volume if I can't hear it from my phone. Not too long, less uh, about two minutes. Hopefully next time there's a Pokemon Direct or a Nintendo Direct, I can plan it out a little better. <laughs> uh, me. That's up. Let me load up Twitch, ready. Also, note I won't be reloading it unless we have buffering issues, because I don't want to miss anything. Okay, two minutes. And let's just check my mic is actually working. People can hear me. One minute. Oh, exciting. Will they go straight into Splatoon 4 news? Which I'm presuming they will since they actually announced that the direct would have it. But, oh, no. Kind of excited to see what the new stuff they go show up for the game. At the ready with the volume. Any seconds. I hope my volume is at an okay level because I don't want it too loud. Turn <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, one. Peggy eighteen. Testing. Testing. Okay. Ooh, gone straight in with Pokemon. Okay. Just gonna quickly lower the volume slightly down. Hopefully that's better. Going straight into the DLC. I was not expecting this. New area. The teal mask. Lovely, we already got buffering. New Pokemon. New characters. That's pretty. Looks like new hairstyles have been added.
Is that Freeny Bake World? Is it going to be legendaries or just new? Ooh, what? Ah, the Bask Pokemon. Indigo Disc. This looks. I don't know why, that just reminds me a bit of the Aether Paradise. Oh, good is it? Interesting. Looks so pretty. Okay, so autumn and okay. Nintendo Direct no Please tell me if the volume isn't correct. Onajiku,アンナヤコツメます。小泉です。最初にご覧いただいたのはポケットモンスター、スカーレット、ヴァイオレットの遊戯。はい、I I need to look into going it, because you could already preload it off. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's a Scarlet,Violet,Scarlet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,Violet,
They must join this kind of reminds me of like the Persona Q art style a bit. That have taken control. During battle, assess the situation and determine whether to unleash an attack up close, from afar, or using a Persona. This looks interesting. Knock enemies down to perform another action called One More. Then surround your foes and take them out with dramatic flair using the new all out attack, Triple Threat. The fusion ability from the Persona series returns, uh. allowing you to combine personas to form other ones. What is Arena's true objective, and what truths lie hidden in this strange world? Looks very interesting. A revolutionary tale will ignite when Persona 5 Tactica launches on Nintendo Switch November 17th. Yeah. Step into a Saturday morning cartoon. Calling all heroes for the first person roguelike adventure, Myth Force. Enter a high fantasy world inspired by Saturday morning cartoons of the past. It's up to you to stop the evil Daedalus from taking over. But it won't be easy. Treacherous tombs and cryptic castles threaten your survival. Wield medieval weapons and legendary magic to smite hordes of monsters. During each run, you can find treasure to help boost your character's abilities, weapons, and more. Plus, up to four okay. brave heroes can share the adventure in online co-op. Drop in and out at any time as you face the many perils ahead. By the power of teamwork, Myth Force launches on Nintendo Switch this year. This Splatfest is going to be Ooh, pretty let's sweet. Let's see what Splatfest theme it is. Okay. Let's see what it's going to be themed on. Yep, Splatfest time. Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Okay, squids, here's the theme. Which flavor of ice cream is best? Vanilla, strawberry, or ice cream mint flavors? Chip? This Splatfest will be held during the dates shown on screen. Out of those three, I would probably say mint, mm, but these choices are delicious. Guide your favorite flavor to victory. Though my favorite flavor is a bit of a weird one. <laughs> Plus, get splatting in themed battles with challenges. More splatastic events are on the way. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. More Pokemon? Okay, what's is this like that cafe game? Oh, what's this? To promote an even stronger bond between the people and Pokemon of Rhyme City. Oh my goodness, Detective Pikachu! Day, the start of Pokemon Friendship Week. Tim Goodman, Pikachu. Do you the two are the ideal detective duo. This is, is this a new Detective Pikachu game? Part of detective work. Quit goofing off and investigate. Ah, so much for my coffee. Something tells me this is just the beginning. That's, I'm pretty sure that's the original one. A light roast today, huh? From back when the, on the 3DS one, I'm pretty sure, but I never played it, so. What? You missing Ryan Reynolds voice actor for it? <laughs> On our deductions, the culprit is clear, isn't it? Uh, a bolt of brilliance. The name's Pikachu, and I'm what you might call a great detective. I sure wish somebody would bring me some coffee. Hanjin Shinsaku, Kaitik, the Maitan, and Pikachu, or Goran Takimashaga. I never got to play the original, unfortunately. To Jinko Timuto, or some Pikachu no combi, don't like a go visit the Kuru no de Shoka. I normally stick to just like the main series Pokemon games and maybe the odd few side ones like Mystery Dungeon and stuff. I might pick it up. I think it'd depend on the press. 
What's this? Oh, oh. Will Gino be in this? Because oh, I know Gino's like a fan favourite from Super Mario RPG. I think that's his name, right, Gino? Yeah, there, that guy. Everyone wanted him to be in Smash or something. <laughs> I think this might have just broken the brains of like any RPG fan. <laughs> Sadly, I never got to play this game, so uh, I don't know much about it. But hey, I mean, always depending on price, but it might be an interesting game to stream. Seems to still have its charm from the original to a certain extent. Okay, so November. Super Famicom de Hatsubaista, Super Mario RPG, ga graphic for a shin ste yomigaimas. Toji, Asobareta Katamo, Mada, Sonda Kotoga Naito Yukatamo, Mario series no Saisho RPG title or play stem itawa, Ikaradeshoka. Koizumi san, Goranita Daita noa, Mario Gashiago no title de Staga, Koreda Kejana in this. Eh, to do you this cup? Well, what's this? More Mario? Goran Itadai Teru no ga Peach Hime ga shiroku no kanzen shinsak title Oh, a new Princess Peach game. We haven't had one of those since Super Princess Peach. Oh yeah? Ara? Dou natchya un desu ka? Oh, and that's literally all the show. Oh, and that's literally all the show. Oh, and that's literally all the Oh, and that's literally all the show. Oh, and that's literally all the doesn't that mean all three versions are on? Does it? No. Well, I don't think the first Luigi's Mansion was remade on 3DS, so I don't think that's on there. Maybe the original on the GameCube. Um, emulate a bit, but I don't know. Become Gotham City's ultimate protector. Okay, Batman. Welcome to the Madhouse, Batman! Today is the Joker's big homecoming, and you are the guest of honor! Soon I will command forces beyond your comprehension. I've waited long enough. Batman dies tonight. This is like loads of different other older games coming to Switch. I like it. Ah, it is. Interesting. I've not played any Batman games. And I'm not really up to date in like 
much about it, so I can't really comment. Welcome to Jenny. Play your cards right, mercenary. Lead your mercenaries through cursed dungeons in the lands of Gloomhaven. Your tactical prowess is all that stands between riches and certain death. This adaptation of the hit board game features turn-based card battles with RPG elements. Unleash mm. deadly combos and bring doom upon your foes. But beware, exhaustion is close at hand. Choose from 17 okay. different mercenaries, brave over 260 grueling missions, and master over 1,000 abilities. Hone your deck, set up synergies, and gain every advantage to survive. Grit your teeth and earn your keep when Gloomhaven launches on Nintendo Switch September 18th. Okay. Free orders for the Mercenaries and Gold Editions begin today on Nintendo eShop. Keep the dance oh. party going. Okay, another just dance game. Yeah, I think I have like the original Just Dance, but after they like brought out like three of them it started to get to the point of just <laughs> um yeah in a world without words What's this? one day a once peaceful realm was silenced by its king now seven wordless warriors will rise in this action rpg this looks really these nice heroes bound by fate must work together to explore the abyss and find the secluded king however with its silent dungeons and powerful foes Conquering the abyss will be no easy feat. Wield weapons like swords, bows, magic. That looks really interesting. This deadly chasm. I think that's the first game I'm interested in from this stream. Materials you've collected will help you cultivate resources and forge new items. Repeated forays into the abyss will enable you to grow stronger and dive deeper. Can you hear me? Your guide on this journey is the kingdom's sorrowful princess, encased in a crystal of her own tears. And through a mysterious power, her voice reverberates in the hearts of the silent warriors. Why did the king steal the world's words? And what awaits the warriors in the depths of the abyss? Silent Hope dives onto Nintendo Switch October 3rd. Sparks will fly in these Nintendo Switch games. Okay. Cast spells and cultivate your best life in Fae Farm. Make use Never. of magic to complete tasks and fend off mischievous foes. Farming sims? Enrich your farm to help your character flourish. Decorate your space to improve your stats for the day ahead. And enchant your friends locally or online in four-player co-op. Definitely looks pretty, though. Fate Farm launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch September 8th. Pre-orders, including an in-game bonus, are available now on Nintendo eShop. Zoom into wild racing action with Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged. Choose from over 130 vehicles and pull off outrageous stunts to avoid obstacles, find shortcuts, and knock your rivals out of the way. Unleash your creativity by modifying your vehicles and building your own tracks. Race locally with friends in split-screen co-op. Plus, up to 12 players can hit the track online. 
Grab the wheel when this game speeds onto Nintendo Switch October 19th. Get your chassis looking classy in Manic Mechanics. Grab a part, fix it up, and toss it over. Okay. Vehicles quickly to earn points in solo play or four player co op. But watch out for treacherous pits, pesky UFOs, and other workplace hazards. Manic Mechanics oh, launches okay. first for consoles <laughs> on Nintendo Switch July 13th. What is this game? Today on Nintendo eShop. Introducing the second paid DLC for Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Mario and friends journey to a musical planet filled with new areas to explore and new enemies to battle. What else will they find in this world of melodies? This new DLC, The Last Spark Hunter, launches later today. Uh -huh. A demo of the main game is available now on Nintendo eShop. You really think you stand a chance against us? <laughs> you games this. Arms me? Very well. What? What the? You're going to have to become a monster wrangler. Okay, I recognize that music. <laughs> Create an army for that tool. Okay. Definitely interesting. Ah, the so-called hero is here. Ooh, I think that's one of the older heroes. Oh, interesting. Gurainitaraitaroa, Square Enix-san's Dragon Quest Monsters 3: Mazoku no Oji to Elf no Tabi des. Shujinko no Pisaro ga. Welcome to the Rescue Corps. As its newest recruit. You'll venture to a mysterious planet with all sorts of life forms. There, you'll meet oh, elephant thingy. Pikmin. And the adorable rescue pup, Ochi. Good boy. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, repair the damaged rescue core spaceship and save any castaways you find. All right, let's explore together. Okay. Once plucked, Pikmin are ready for action. Blow your whistle to gather them and have them follow you. Throw your little buds at things and they'll start working for you. Ochi will also prove to be a great canine companion. He can carry items. You can sneeze. Or smash <laughs> obstacles in your way. And if you need a flotation device, well. There you go. Ochi can even stand up to the wildest creatures. Collect lots of treasures scattered around the planet. The Game Boy. The spaceship's radar <laughs> and open up new areas to explore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Exploration isn't limited to the surface, though. Why not take the plunge underground? Here, a completely different environment awaits. So this is similar Unusual to Pikmin 2, I believe. Native creatures. 
and even more treasures are around every corner. You might unexpectedly find some castaways too. Hey, wait a minute. This leafy individual just nabbed the castaway. You've got to stop him. It's time for a Dandori battle. Embrace the art of Dandori by strategically issuing commands to your Pikmin and Ochi. Collect more objects than your opponent within the time limit to win and save the castaway. By rescuing castaways, you'll be able to do more activities back at base camp, which is right next to your spaceship. Train Ochi and teach him new skills. Ah. Or build new equipment and items to help make exploration more manageable. Ooh, interesting. For sir. the first time in the Pikmin series, you can eventually set out for night expeditions. But there's a catch. Nightfall sends creatures into a frenzy, so stay alert. Thankfully, you'll come across the new Glow Pikmin, which Aww. only appear at night. That's so cute. That produce valuable glow sap. These mounds also attract various wildlife, so use glow Pikmin to drive them away and protect the luminols. Wow. Many That's so more cute. surprises await in this uncharted planet. But with the Pikmin and Ochi by your side, no challenge is too big or too small. Oh, there's some of the old Pikmin. Pikmin 4. これまで県内夜の探索は避けていましたが最新作ではついに夜にまで冒険がお呼びようです皆さんの指示でぜひ。まあ、they're Physical September 22nd. Okay, I'm going to have to note that down. Okay. Set 22nd. Set 22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.22nd.
You'll acquire weapons and upgrades for your character, so shape them as you see fit. Plus, up to four players can now play together in couch co-op. What other horrors lie in store? Find out when Vampire Survivors launches on Nintendo Switch August 17th. Okay. Let's check in on some upcoming European tournaments. Okay. After four years, the Splatoon European Championship is back in action. Teams from 12 regions across Europe are already splatting it out in regional Splatoon 3 tournaments consisting of Turf Wars and Anarchy Battles. The winning teams from each region will go on to compete in the European Final in Frankfurt, Germany. Which team will be crowned the 2023 European Champion and take home this incredible trophy? Please stay tuned to our social channels for more info on regional tournaments in your country, as well as news on the finals. And that's not all. Mario Ah, oh, they're getting a championship too. Music and pigeons? Sounds pretty cool. You're a pigeon. Yeah, you heard that right. Play online in this rhythm battle royale and aim to be the last bird standing. Up to 30 players can ruffle each other's feathers in musical mini games. Copy the leader's actions perfectly in Yes Commander. Fire a slingshot to play music in First Piano Shooter. Race and fly to the rhythm in, to the sky, and more. With over 20 mini games, you're in for an impeccably good time. Get ready to shake those pigeon tails when Headbangers Rhythm Royale bops its way onto Nintendo Switch October 31st. <laughs> ready, set, yo! Penny is on the run. Entangled in a chaotic audition that veered way off script, she's managed to make some powerful enemies and a newly animated friend. In this 3D platforming adventure from the team behind Sonic Mania, you'll explore the bright okay. and colorful world of Macaroon and help Penny and Yo-Yo escape the clutches of the grouchy Emperor Eddie. Perform stylish acrobatic tricks to avoid Eddie's massive horde of pushy penguins and power up yo-yo to protect penny from foul play you can okay. also put your speed running <laughs> skills to the test in time attack mode to unlock special items complete secret stages and more this is your can... big break after all take the stage when penny's big breakaway launches on nintendo switch early next year rev up Oh, wave five. five. Okay, this is going to be interesting. What have we got? A brand new course is racing into wave five of the Mario Kart 8 okay, Deluxe. Okay, new one. Course past DLC. Introducing Squeaky Clean Sprint. More characters are also being added. Oh, Mario Petey's Kart back. <laughs> Petey Piranha. From Mario Kart and Wiggler. 7, Wiggler. <laughs> is Queen Bee back, that one? From Mario Kart Tour, Comet. Okay. Wave 5 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass zooms onto Nintendo Switch this summer. This DLC can be purchased on its own, while active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can also enjoy it at no additional So I've only got one course revealed. Two worlds, one fateful encounter. A remake of the second Star Ocean game, complete with new graphics that fuse 2D and 3D, is on the way. Ooh, After a mission goes wrong, Federation officer Claude is stranded on an undeveloped planet. There, he meets Reyna, who possesses mystical powers. Was it fate or mere coincidence? Soon after, 
the two get entangled in a sinister plot within the galaxy. In this science fantasy RPG, select either Claude mm. or Reyna as your hero and play through the story from their perspective. You'll also meet over a dozen potential allies from all walks of life. During your adventure, the hero you chose and the decisions you make will have an impact on who can be recruited to your cause. Battles take place in real time and skills can be performed with a single button. New combat features in this remake include stunning enemies with chain attacks. Okay. And having allies not in your current party unleash follow-up attacks. Letting you map out strategic battles in your favor. As you search for a way home, an ancient prophecy will unfold and your destiny will be awakened. Save the planet in Star Ocean the Second Story R, launching on Nintendo Switch November 2nd. It's time to move it Wario style. Okay. Get ready for more micro game mayhem in the latest WarioWare game. <laughs> Hold two Joy-Con controllers, then action. Move your body to take on a flurry of lightning fast micro games. What you do and how you move depends on the micro game. React quickly with the right movement, and you'll be on the road to victory. Excellent! If you've got two <laughs> pairs of controllers, play with a friend in local co-op. Sync up your actions to beat each micro game. Plus, up to four players can live it up across various mini games in party mode. For example, this dicey board game is going to keep you on your toes. Get your body moving in over 200 lightning fast micro games. Was that a Pikmin one? <laughs> in WarioWare, move it! Launching on Nintendo Switch November 3rd. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I don't know what that is. I don't know what さて、メイドインワリオの最新作が登場します。全身でポーズを取りながらの瞬間アクションに挑戦してみてください。インクのアミーボを発売しましたが、さらに本作に登場するゼルダ、ああ、ケー、ランドロフのアミーボを2023年に発売しますので待ちください。さて、次が最後の映像です。ランドロフのアミーボを2023年に発売しますので待ちください。
This game looks very trippy. <laughs> He's turned into an elephant. Well then. Feels like it's been a while since we've had a new one. Like 2D side scrolling and all that. Wonder Flower and Fredo, Chicago Gitastari. It's no sugar than he's in study. So the mother told Joko got it pinched his mounds. Okanimo, Anaga Shabetti Tari, Daisy Gaitari.最後はゾーンになったりといろいろありましたが詳細は改めてお伝えしますのでお楽しみに。今回のNintendoDirectは以上となります。ご視聴ありがとうございました。And that's the end. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's quite a bit of stuff in there. Oh man. So new stuff. We got a new um let's go back on the video. So we got the new Pokemon DLC, which is gonna be cool. Um let's just find out when that's coming out. Okay, so basically the end of the year this is coming out. I'm going to have to remember to get the DLC. Um, so that's coming out the end of the year. Let me have a look. There's this new Persona 5 game that looks interesting. When the group ends up in an unfamiliar world. I think that one said it's like... <laughs> November seventeenth of November. Oh, I've got the new Splatfest. When's that? I need to note that down so I'll definitely be streaming that. Let's have a look. Um Typical. It's uh same day as my subathon. Nice. Well. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I guess maybe do one of the games of Splatoon just so we could do a bit on that day because I like to try and do get like unlock all the stuff. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, hang on, let's put um, two. Um, At this in time. So, just adding this to my account. Uh, so, so I probably already picked which team I'm going. As I mentioned, out of those three, the only one I really like is Mint. Um, Chop chip. So I'm most likely gonna go for that. Um okay, let's see what else. We've got the new Detective Pikachu game. We've got the Super Mario RPG remake. <laughs> when did it say this was coming out? Uh, so the seventeenth of November. Great, my headset's running out of battery. Um, where was that game that I was interested in? I think I already Silent Hope. I already noted that down. There. And then of course we've got Pitman Four. 
not sure when I'll get that. I haven't, so I, I own the original Pitman on Wii, but I never completed it. And of course, we've got this as well. I'm presuming it's going to be a bundle physical with the first one and the second one. If so, you know, I might get it. But yeah, I think that was quite an interesting, um, quite an interesting uh, Nintendo Direct. I wasn't expecting Pokemon in first, especially since they're still trying to bug fix and give patches and stuff for the game, but either way, I think they already announced that it was coming out at a certain point, but we've got at least some more details on what's going on and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think the main stuff is the Pikmin stuff. We've got the Splatfest that's going to be on the weekend of my summer fall, which is typical. So, I'm going to have to work that around everything. And yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't think there was anything that would have caught my eye. So they didn't, like, does that mean, that's actually one thing I wanted to ask, like, they only showed off one course for Wave 5, it says eight courses of course, but we only know one currently, and this one is coming out in summer, technically it's already summer, but that could be anywhere from, like, June, June to August-ish. So I'll keep an eye out for that. I've already got the booster course downloaded. So maybe I'll stream it at some point. I don't know. Um, yeah. Well, that was the Nintendo Direct. <laughs> I'll definitely put a post up on Twitter and stuff of like what I'm expecting. I'm excited for one things. But yeah, I think I'll end stream. There's not much else to talk about that much. I've noted down like the games I'm interested in and the times they're releasing and stuff. I hope everyone enjoyed watching it with me. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions later on what you think of the direct. And yeah, let's go find someone to raid. Uh, let's have a look. Who's online at the moment? Remuja. Okay, where are we? Ron. So, here are the raid messages. Raid 2. And let's go raid. Ron. Yeah, like I said, I hope everyone enjoyed today's random <laughs> Nintendo Direct reaction stream. <laughs> uh, my next stream is going to be on Friday, uh, I believe. Let me just double check. Uh, Honkai Star Rail at 1pm. We're going to be trying to catch up on some of the limited time events, as well as doing some of the side of quests and stuff. And hopefully we'll do a few pulls. But yeah, other than that, I hope everyone has a good day. Bye all!